Producing renewable energy is one step to making a home sustainable. But what really differentiates our smart home from others is our home energy management system. With this system, we're monitoring our electrical loads to maximize efficiency and minimize carbon. And we're communicating with the electrical grid so we can coordinate our power with the needs of the grid. From an environmental viewpoint, solar power and battery electric vehicles are transformative technologies, so they play a critical role here in the smart home. But if we want them to continue to grow in the future, we need to find ways to keep them from causing strain on the electrical grid. The smart home can produce as much as 9.5 kilowatts of DC power from the photovoltaics on the roof. And the energy management system can take that DC power and we can either use it directly as DC and put it into our stationary storage battery, or we can take that DC energy and we can put it into the plug-in battery EV vehicle. Or if the grid wants it and it's convenient, we can take that, turn it into AC power and send that back. This is the Honda Fit EV and behind me is the home energy management system as well as the stationary storage battery next to it. And this is the DC charge cable for recharging the Fit EV through solar power. One of the big challenges of introducing renewable energy and electric cars into the electricity mix is that uh, solar power is intermittent, meaning that when the clouds go over the sun, the, the power drops away. And when people plug in their electric cars, it can be an unpredictable load on the grid. So keeping the, the supply and demand of electricity perfectly in balance with the electric grid becomes more difficult. The, the battery is a high efficiency lithium titanate battery. One of the key features of a storage battery is that it needs to have a very high efficiency of the charge discharge um, energy going through it so that you retain more of the energy that you've generated and stored in the battery. The electricity grid is made up of many thousands of generators that are all operating at exactly the same pace. The home energy management system can listen to the pace that all of the generators are operating at and can recognize when the grid is being overstressed. Too many people are at home turning on their stoves, charging their electric cars, turning on the lights, and the home energy management system can react to that by supplying power to the grid in times when the grid is overstressed or by hearing that the grid has a little bit of surplus power, can take that excess power and either store it in the battery or charge the electric car. When you have storage, you can decouple the supply and demand of electricity in order to keep the grid balanced, but also maximize the carbon reductions that are possible. The great value of a system like this is that we can calculate when to buy and sell power. We can buy at low carbon times and sell at high carbon times and the result is that we're able to reduce the net carbon footprint below zero. And the home energy management system will perform those, those uh, detailed calculations by listening to the grid and measuring the sunshine and, and understanding how much electricity is needed, both for the Fit EV and also the storage battery, and it will decide what the most carbon efficient means of charging the electric vehicle will be, and then it will do that. For us, the smart home is very much about the energy management and designing a home that uses as little energy as possible to supply the, the home and integrating the transportation with the home in a way that's fundamentally a good use of energy. And that's what we tried to accomplish with the Honda Smart Home. Of course, the start point for the project was how to make the most efficient home and vehicle. But the HEM system lets us take it to the next level, where our energy production and consumption are actively coordinated with the electrical grid to help enable a future with more electrified vehicles and more renewable energy. Mm -hmm.